gana to you know spend less money because of the progression in the parliament that process continues when the new government came to power the new government only could have planned for six months it, it, it had consequences which they didn't control and I can't point to one particular year that I could see you know, government policy led okay in the economy that could be justified. And I think at the end of the day, the statistics are showing that sugar improve. Rice achieve it, 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 it surpass its target.
you know, fully understand the gravity, the crisis, and, and, and we saw all of that, you know, happened. And I, I think that when you take all that into consideration, I think Mr. President Granger and his team have done an excellent job. Okay, so that's at the, the macro level. But, um, I Piggybacking on that and saying that, you know, the things that they were accustomed to are now an aberration, basically. But how do you view the, the, the concerns that consultations should have been made with the unions in, with respect to the $50,000 increases to public servants? No, if I if I if I if I am to just go quickly, um, I think that you, you could hardly argue against more consultation. So I would say that the government, you know, have to be more, more careful and have to consult, you know, once, you know, the situation justifies it. I don't know that the had to consult granting the $50,000 you know, bonus. But 
but if you know aside one with that that's a, a very strong key that you have um in terms of the, the um public service that is um, have, has a mandate to come up with recommendations for the structures and, and, and all the, the issues that are affecting um, public service. I told them that I really didn't um, 
then support what you understand what is said about the need for consultation. In relation to the $50,000 bonus, I didn't necessarily support this position. Because I do believe that an employer has a right to has a right to um, show some kind of gratitude and I believe in relation to the $50,000 bonus what the government did was to demonstrate that it was grateful to the way in which the public servants have
feel somehow neglected, people feel that they, one man was saying that, you know, I could have called this minister, we were so close, prior to the elections, all of them a sense that uh, uh, people are feeling rejected and isolated by the people who would have been given positions in the admin. Should there be some sense of reaching out? For me, um, being involved in local government elections, I can tell you that one of the problems you find on the ground is that in many communities, are rejecting the APNU um, AFC and some communities are deciding that well, look we want nothing to do with it them for these elections myself have taken that position and I frankly had told after we had a meeting with intermediaries for the APNUFC I frankly told them that received by people who would have been working in support of the APNU uh, for years and so on that the party treated them shabbily first in relation to the way they chose the list, you know, nobody knew what the list would be uh, until it was published, there was no After the list was published, there was no kind of discussion in terms of the selection of the cabinet. Too many things were held in secret. And um, even now, Any of the people, uh, and there are many people out there, the youth arm that would have been so active, and 
and uh, would not have called a caucus of persons to say well look uh, um, thank you for your contribution we understand
some of that extraordinary expectations. You know, um, the internal democracy
But you know, I have learned in 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 interpreting people's political response. A lot, a lot of people when they want to hit back at the party, we said they don't I support you. Okay, when it comes to push competition, they do, do come out to vote. But we don't want to take that as granted. You know, we, 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 you know. But I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't think it is as bad as it may look upon the surface. But it is a problem. Yeah, I tend to I tend to um, to agree to uh, a certain extent. I only need to face with people on a daily basis. Um, I do um, get some of these responses. And I believe that
responses are going to be exactly what is needed. We're hearing you're saying. Um, like to come, I don't believe that people are committed not to vote for the AP and they have seen. Notwithstanding that, they are still committed to ensuring that the AAP and UFC coalition continues to grow in the eyes of the population. And I believe that. that by a kind of resounding turn out of the AP and UFC supporters um, at the local government elections. But then but that, that seems to be taking things Call them 
them to a forum to say well look thank you you know a public pronouncement is not what people need people are going to feel more comfortable if they are you know somehow they're going to feel some kind of appeasement if they are brought to a forum and spoken to on a one-to-one basis instead of just being left out there as though we look, you know, we win and, you know, to, that is the impression you get to help it, you know that we win. Well, I thought it was a mistake. I do believe it was a mistake on behalf of And say to them, thank you for showing faith in us, and to um, and and we look forward for your continuous support. I think if that was done on a large scale. That I do believe that people um, you know, are angry and are saying, some people are saying that they're not going to vote for the um, coalition at the local government elections.
come close to the election. People understand what the struggle is all about and move to ensure that the coalition remains in you know, the Supreme Party. Well, it work has to take place. Yes. Because, uh, I mean, in the two programs ago, two weeks ago, I came out here and I announced my own candidacy for the local government elections. I put up my symbol and so on. But subsequent to that, I had talks with the, the APNU and I expressed the same positions, you know, that, um, you know, people believe that, you know, from the way they were treated, that Jump, just abandon ship and to take a new direction. Right? So far, we have been able to resolve these issues and we have come, come to a common understanding that, that we are looking. For me, what I considered to be a, a, a kind of disregard for people contempt, you know, the way the list was treated and all of that, that I outlined that. Is going to be the scenario, you know, where everything is done in a secret way and parties that are supposed to be involved in the process are. Simply shut out, then I will not be part of that process. And we have come to that kind of understanding. Some communities have decided that, well, look, regardless of what, we are one of part and we So it's not as simplistic as you were saying it is, because people out there are feeling that, right? And I believe. has work to do in order to get people to feel, you know, some way, you know, again, committed. We just can't say that because the PPP is out there, uh, that it, 
things that are going to fall in place. No, I'm not, I, I'm not saying purely that. I'm not saying purely that. I, I, re, I recognize the, the problem that you have about climate. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that the We have to ensure that people are still on board with the population 
so that five years is on the road that we still have a party that is Unfortunately, that the local government elections has to boil down to a APMU PPP struggle. Many people were hoping that local government will be will local government. Once the PPP decide that, that they are going to use the local government elections as a, a testing ground, you know, you know I, I think it is 
kami never tell you that the EPMU had an EFC coalition had to respond likewise. But in, even in doing that, my, my understanding is
hanging. And, uh, um, you know, it's not that you're offering them a position or anything, but people will feel comfortable knowing that we This idea that, that you know some people have gotten into positions and now they have become lords unto themselves is something that we have to address. said I was just speaking to a member of a party and he was saying that the treatment that some of the workers
beginning to feel that Minister Bruins is the right person for the job that she would have been doing.
particularly at home, that he had responsibility for responsibilities for her. And I think that he will bring the same kind of enthusiasm. As I said, you know, I think that he is going to be extremely good in this new position. And um, it's just a matter of time before, before he makes the same kind of impact that means Minister Keith Scott is going to go there to do too good a job to overshadow the minister who is supposed to be the senior minister. And that minister feels uncomfortable with Mr. Keith Scott. This is what the people are saying. He too will be removed. What is they're sitting in and go out and do the same kind of job. 
stop, but I will encourage myself. I will encourage myself, Scott. If it is true that persons felt that the cards were mashed, that he must go there and mash cards also. Because you, you, you work.
So you have to read the pages, the changes. Yeah, the meaning it came to me as a surprise, and I'm still trying to study the politics of it. I, in terms of the brooms, matter. I think you know both sides of really. Exactly what the, some of the you know the, 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 the views of the um, but you hinted at the fact that the, the senior minister and rooms. as well as they ought to work uh, for whatever reason I really don't know but I think that um, if she is removed because of that I, I think it will be very, very unfortunate now the, the other thing is a very um, effective uh, work in lifting the consciousness of working people to hear after many years we have somebody
definition for shift is that, that the, 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 the natural um, resource ministry yeah. and the activities surrounding the natural resources development in the future and that given her experience with the internal and given her energies that he believes it is a better investment long term but I agree with is bad politics to, to remove for so so, uh, so quickly well preparing the country for the removal but um I, I guess President is looking at the bigger picture and is taking a kind of more long term look at um, the situation. But I personally. this time. And if I had to do it, I, I think I would do some proprietary work so the population could appreciate exactly what is I, I I appreciate your views on the matter, but as I am saying, that if, if the as um, one news source. create a portfolio for ourselves because uh, frankly I mean Brooms has been the minister within the ministry who we don't know who the other minister is do we Um, <laughs> one could also speculate and 
on the removal of Mrs. Um, Scott from the housing ministry because you hear all manners of things that um, you know he too was mashing people's cars and this and that and but, but I do believe I like to come on. I don't believe that the president will succumb to some of these um, some of these things some of these opportunities and that decision to move one a person move shift around people that he will take um, you know a whole number of things in the consideration that may not have been spoken about but uh, um
position okay to manage more effectively and more efficiently um, the budget allocations and all the, 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 the um, related um, issues. Um, I think that, that we also have to, to, uh, to, to, to bear in mind This new budget, okay, if you're building on what has been done before, so you have a kind of a flow, you know, you have a flow. I think that we will see all wrong. Okay, significant improvements in people's life.
think that we have to wait for the budget because the budget will really give us the concrete um, um, details. But I think that the, 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 the platform is set.
most um, reliable and experienced persons that the thing about giving um, contracts previous that you know used to be the norm in the PPP um, you know um, party party and supporters that if it is that those persons do not come up to scratch, that they should be blacklisted and contractors with real experience should be given their yeah, yeah, but these things not only be at the level of the, 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 the macro level you have, you know, institutions that are part of administering the local for instance like the tongue the city hall and um, I was speaking to a vendor in the market and she was saying that okay they made a after they would have been settling but then the members of the constable we are demanding two thousand dollars from them and that money doesn't not sign not going into any book or record for the ACB because this is a demand by members of the constabulary that is going into also accusations that uh, many of the, the, the contracts that are being awarded are given to pseudo companies by you know people who are, are just you know creating We cannot talk about, you know, putting things right and then, you know, other people within the system are going to make, because it's eventually going to fail the back. the administration mm. all right so those people the city all if it needs to be cleaned up then it has to be cleaned up yeah. the prisons um, I some weeks ago
the prison officers would give cell phones to the prisoners to sell to other cell um, inmates. So the cell knows exactly which
and in fact, I want a, a point that I wanted to make when we were talking about the government. Um,